So it reminds me of this concept that I heard from this guy, Danny Meyer. Yeah. Danny Meyer wrote a book called Setting the Table yeah. and he's a restaurateur in New York City. And, and what he said was so like, just controversial. Mm. He said, most people believe that the customer is the most important person in the business, Not true. but they're wrong. Yeah. The employees are the most important people in the business because they serve your customer. Yes. And most companies treat their employees like garbage. Yeah. If they would have seen that top performer doing that, they'd have been like, what's wrong with you? You need to get your crap together or you're going to get fired. Yeah. And then they just threw salt in a wound. Mm -hmm. But the way that you handled that showed him that he was important, that he mattered. And, when, and then once he got settled, he took all that energy and gave it to the customers, gave it to the company. And it's yeah. like, if we could just treat our people and that's what the workshops are about. Yeah. That's what all this is about. It's about human connection. It really is. And making sure that like we're treating our people so well that when they get to interact with our customers, they have the capacity to take care of our customers. Yeah. I think that's such a valid point. It, it, it really is something that, you know, you don't have to work with us. Like this is not a sales pitch for what process fixer does, but it is a mandate that you should take as a, as a leader in your organization. If you aren't doing this, let me just tell you, you know, it's been difficult to hire and retain people the last three or four years. Yeah. Um, it, it, and, and I think COVID was this pivotal moment. And actually I dropped an episode of the sauce, which is another show that I have, and we've been dropping it on the process fixer channel. But I listened to one of the episodes yesterday when I was driving up North and, um, and, and one of the things that was cool about it is we talked about how during COVID for the first time ever, because employees were so valued yeah. and we realized how essential they were, yeah. there were all these videos of owners coming out after somebody flip flips out on a, on a, you know, a customer flips out on the wait staff and owners coming out and grabbing that person and saying, get the hell out of my, throwing the customer right. and saying right. the customer's not right. right. My people are right. Right. We don't need you here. Right. And listen, I mean, it has become a thing. The reality is I, I you know, my, my last book adapt agility was out on Amazon and it had a bunch of five star reviews, yeah. like a whole bunch. And I was like, this is great. And then somebody gave it a one star review the other yeah. day. And I was like, good. Like you need the detract, you need the person that goes, this guy sucks. Yeah. Because if you don't, it seems manufactured. Right. So I'm okay with having, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not everybody liking what I do. Yeah. And I think you as a business need to be that as well. Yeah. It's something we'll talk about in the next segment about how one of the workshops that we're working on right now is about identifying who that customer is and what quadrant they fall into in the yeah. first couple minutes of the interaction yeah. so that you know how to handle them. Yep. And let's be honest, we talk about that in four quadrants of, hey, this customer knows what they want and they want it now. Yeah. This customer doesn't know what they want and they want it now. Yes. This customer doesn't know what they want, but they want it now. And yes. this customer doesn't know what they want and they don't they really don't give a shit care. when they get it. They're just like, whatever, <laughs> you know, they're just all happy-go-lucky. But there's a fifth quadrant too. Yeah. And that's the guy where you say, oh, you're here in line? Um, yeah. How about let me show you the door? Right, right. <laughs> let, let me escort you out of here. Yeah. I mean, I talked about this in that same episode. I talked about this with a company that I was president of a couple of years back. You know, we would have customers that would call and make demands. And I would be like, oh, let me give you a phone number. They're like, who's this for? I'm like, that's for one of our competitors. Yeah. Because they'll tolerate that shit. I won't. Right. And the customer would be just totally silent. They're like, I want to talk to your boss. I'm like, I'm president. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I'm like, this is the mandate we give our employees. If that customer is not a right fit for us. Yeah. They can go someplace else and we're happy to give them instructions on how to get there. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that talk about power. Yes. Now your employees go, okay, people back me up here. Yes. Like the worst thing in the, in a business is when you don't back up your people. Yeah. Because then they're, then you've betrayed them. Yeah. You know, it's Dante's seven levels, right? The yeah. betrayal is the worst. Yeah. So, so being able to actively, you know, back up and support your people, yep. give them the capacity to think yep. so many times in our business, because we don't have capacity. We don't really have a chance to think Lucas and I, the AI daddy just talked about this in a previous yeah. episode. Like you, you have to have that capacity to make decisions. Yeah. It, you cannot make the, you ever made a decision while you're under stress? Yeah. <laughs> worst decisions <laughs> I've ever made. the worst <laughs> stuff, man. Sometimes you get, sometimes even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while and you yeah. get lucky. Yeah. But most of the time you make really poor decisions when you're stressed out. Absolutely. So when you have a little bit of capacity, mm. we, we, I, we talked about the video from friends the other day, yes. you know, the Ross and Chandler video pivot. of moving the pivot, pivot. You got to, if you don't have room to pivot, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. You're not going to mm -hmm. make good decisions. You're going right. to make bad decisions. You're right. going to make bad decisions for yourself. You're going to make bad decisions for the customer. You're going to make bad decisions for the company. Yeah. So it's all about gaining that capacity 
And yeah. one of the ways to do that is having people show up better to work. Yeah. And I think that's what we're doing with these workshops. Yeah. So all of this stuff yeah. came from me just suffering and struggling and, <laughs> and like, it's all personal. It's all stuff that like, I struggle with my finances and yeah. that's part of the story of yeah. the, of that workshop, yeah. the crucial conversations. I had the craziest conversation with my stepdad who abused me for yeah. years and had to sit down with him and talk to him about it. Everything comes from a place of authenticity and just yeah. like heart. And that's what it is. People are not in need of information, they're in need of inspiration. And so when we can inspire our people to grow and to think and to improve, mm. we will be blown away at what they come up with. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to the process fix to help you see the bigger picture. Derek Mains is the elixir, cut and waste away like scissor. Woo! Got a problem, he can solve it. He's an expert with the process. So for sure you'll see a profit, bottom line profit. Analyze the work your people doing every day. Expose the inefficiencies getting in the way. Advise you how to automate, outsource, abbreviate, eliminate, innovate. Now there's more food up on your dinner plate.